Christos warriors of the eternal heaven codex rising through this great ascension portal through infinite plateaus higher and higher we go blasting through all barriers gates and veils we are breaking through all that has kept us in resistance and conflict for millennia they were all illusions anyway tomorrow is the full honey rose supermoon and capricorn bringing in the divine goddess feminine healing holy waters of crystalline codes directly from the great central sun the heat is fully on now all is purging and releasing what no longer serves ourselves or humanity in this great transformation we are becoming real human beings of eternal luminous light living from our hearts no matter what the false ones throw at us, we convert and resolve all things in the unborn mind of Buddha. We break free from the ball and chains that bind. Waste showers of the new earth, this is liftoff. Nothing stopping us now. The deeper within we go, the higher we flow, riding the rays into the harmonic resonance of the music of the spheres. Our angelic forms are calling. Allow them to carry you directly to the silence and stillness of source within aho one forty four coming in and seventy three thirty seven into seventy three now i've been receiving many questions about if people should be worried about their loved ones getting the jab and here is my answer for all of you it is not necessary to worry about anything we got this beloved beings of light we did not lower our soul star sparks into this realm to leave any of our bro stars and sisters behind. Now in these final days some may ascend from their physical vessels, but we will be reunited on the new earth. So we let go of all worry and fear and project love, what you can do with your mighty I am presence. To anyone you may be concerned about, or all of humanity, it doesn't matter. Transmit the violet flame of healing and transmutation for no matter what is in this technology i don't care if it's nanotechnology ai all it is is frequency and resonance which is an interference pattern over 5d to keep people in fear and separation worry and fear serves nothing and no one we step into the love the courage and transmit our highest energy our highest love our highest light now we're going to clarify and resolve some conflicts in today's transmissions that might keep people in doubt and separation i'm going to do my best to stay congruent and as clear as possible clarify many things in the field and consciousness itself and there's some beings in our community that claim that because of their technologies of what is in their vax that some beings may not ascend which is nonsense i am not here to debate or cause conflict just to clarify for the quantum leap of consciousness this is a collective thing and this is ending the time loop programs and the programming of suffering we came into this realm to resolve these conflicts and suffering for all living beings all sentient beings of pure consciousness we have reached critical mass we are beyond the threshold we are beyond the tipping point so nothing can stop this we are about to reach the crescendo the final breakthrough that is going to shift this whole matrix from the false into the divine and all our loved ones are coming with us either in the physical, non-physical, higher dimensional, lower dimensional, it doesn't matter. For ultimately, we are all one. Separation only exists in Maya, 
within the illusions and we are resolving all illusions here in our pure awareness so there is nothing to fear not even fear itself for fear is the false it is the illusion only love is real everything else is a temporary state of perception of experience we make it real with our perceptions are in our beliefs and our intent so our intent has risen to the point of resolving all conflict and all duality all things are perfectly resolved in this rapture zone in the great ascension this is the unborn the unconscious made conscious this is the birth of the buddha all beings are born perfectly awakened buddha and that perfection is converted to the three hells the angry demon the frightened animal and the hungry ghost and we are resolving together all of these hells of the false projection of pure awareness and besides beloved beings of light once my queen and i return to her ship we can wipe out all their dark technologies within five seconds and it's only a matter of time we call every day and she is waiting in the heavens warriors of the light rise into the glory and to the honor of your angelic luminous field of eternal light and eternal life one of our bro stars in arms was removed from the matrix today john mcafee he had been exposing the dark one's agendas for many years and they took him out in a jail cell in spain today so our prayers and love go to john and his family and friends aho he'll be working with us in the higher realms to assist humanity in this final push with many many other warriors of light and synchronically he was the creator of the antivirus mcafee which is symbolic of the virus that infiltrated the edenic program of this holographic field we call the matrika the divine waters got muddied got filthy all for the purpose of the sacred lotus to anchor into the foundation the mud, the filth, the muck, thousands and millions of years of suffering created this solid eternal foundation that the sacred lotus can plant its seed and root into and rise through the sacred waters, the holy waters, and bloom into the heavens, blossom into the light, star blossoms, that is what we came here for, this final blossoming, blooming, opening up, showing your true rainbow colors of eternal light rainbow bridge fully open fully activated merging heaven and earth through our great central channel the center of the vortex now here in the west we're going through a massive heat wave this sunday in the portal where eagle and condor anchoring heros gamos codes it's supposed to be 111 degrees 111 synchronic with the trinity the trident the threefold flame activated in every living being's heart center after the massive blast of energy yesterday on the schumann today it was very quiet the biggest spike 10 hertz which is low for today's standards and over the last 24 hours we had 111 m1.5 or greater earthquakes another 111 code most powerful 5.7 southeast of loyalty islands this is right on the ring of fire divine feminine energies flowing in we had two activations right on the tropic of capricorn the first was the 5.7 loyalty islands and then argentina south america in the holy andes mountains home of the sacred condor kundalini pachamama 4.7 so we had the 47 and the 57 we had a 4.9 taiwan 13 divine goddess japan okinawa 44 divine 44 truckee california 3.6 loving new mexico 3.6 deltana alaska 3.0 puerto rico 3333 divine mastery lima peru and the sacred portal 4.3 east coast of hanshu japan 46 okinawa japan 44 
right on the ring of fire, Healy, Alaska, and the crown of Lemuria 3.2, right in the heart of Lemuria, close to the Tropic of Cancer, which this solstice was in, the sign of Cancer, Pahala, Hawaii, 3.6, 36 kilometers depth. This is the 99 portal, the 99 degree, the 99 realms, the 99 caves, Chile, South America, 4.7, Mentone, Texas, 3.1. Yucca Valley, California, 3.6. Another activation in Argentina. Foothills of the Andes, 4.9. And then a 4.7. Mendoza, El Segundo, California, 3.2. Maluku, Indonesia, 5.6. Very deep, 3.45. 345 kilometers depth. Indonesia, 5.3. The eighth of the infinite. All portals fully open and activating, connecting all timelines as we merge into this final omega point of harmonic convergence. And now let us continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 21 degrees 48 minutes Sagittarius. The sun is at 2 degrees 44 minutes Cancer 244. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 3 degrees Cancer. An Arctic explorer leads a reindeer through icy canyons. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 22 degrees Sagittarius. A Chinese laundry from astrologyweekly.com. And now today my sacred condor pull a card for you from the tarot deck Shadowscapes from Stephanie Poi Moon Law and Barbara Moore. And the card she pulled for you today is two of wands. She surveys the lands that lie before her. This is her domain. It is filled with her subjects, and she has ruled over all that the eye can see from this high vantage point, as have her ancestors before her. For a moment her sight hazes, and she sees a vision of what she might accomplish in the years to come, having been granted this power. At last, this is the chance to bring her dreams to fruition and to build the reality that she long has envisioned for these lands. She knows she must grasp the reins of power tightly. She must be bold and certain and unwavering in the path that she etches for her people, for there are those who would be swift to pounce and take her place should weakness be detected. Her companion, the lion, knows his place as king of the beasts. He embodies courage and authority. From the pinnacle he boldly stares down any who dare to challenge the two of them. He lifts his mighty head, shakes back the fiery, crackling mane, and his roar rings out across the valley as if to mark the farthest edges of their dominion with the reach of his voice. The two of wands is the emblem of personal power and influence, authority, and courage. Now is the time to be bold and inventive, and not to shy away from doing what is necessary but also beware of letting the intoxication of power cloud the mind and judgment. And now from Divine Sistar of the Light, Shekinah, Rose. Incoming frequency shift, mother embodiment, the Lu language ascension symptoms, and the goddess, Lol, Void. There is new access and foundation through the mother goddess of anchoring and holding the divine frequency. There is a shift in the energetic fields and occurring through the sacred divine feminine of holy power through women and men. Many women are at the forefront of experience this new level of presence, the soul template of higher love and connection. It's a holy power, an inner awareness of empathic heart and soul presence, beginning now as a new language and level of beingness. The old patriotic ways of expression of the mind and continuous chatter can almost be hurtful to you who are in this new holy flow of embodiment, ascension symptoms, feeling sick often to one's stomach and in general, including mind, an emotional fear and unusual sickness, unresolved health issues acting up. For most, these symptoms are on the mend and have been for several weeks. With the ever-changing and ongoing ascension to whole health, including balance of male-female within, symptoms disappear once energetic overhaul is complete. Constant shifting of energy, circumstances, and situations. What is being called is to remember how to be centered and grounded in the new stance of your heart and being flexible. Learning how to negotiate in the new, constant flux of many realms, dimensions, differences, sometimes clashes, shifting of organizations, people and friends, and we're the connecting higher forces through all of it. 
star ascension, goddess void, lull of your new rebirth. Your mind and body are seemingly going slower as you are not in constant working, transforming, and processing the energies that were indicative of the old parochial system and way of life as transformers receivers and transcribers of the new downloads and codes you work them diligently into your life sharing them through your work and services your inner sacred divine feminine nature may be dictating a new flow for allowing these more refined frequencies you may not be over enthusiastic about pushing projects through the sacred divine feminine template is asking for this gestation time and embodiment during this cycle you may be more in observation mode simply being present moment to moment what seems like a slower pace is actually an enhanced expanded dimensional flow do less accomplish more as you learn the art of being in the flow of presence this is not the male patriotic way of assertive active projecting and influencing the environment manifesting it is rather a heightened state of awareness creating an amplification of synchronicity for the higher spirit to move you in perfect divine alignment for ideal alchemy the divine male energy within its respected and honored ergo organically balanced with the divine feminine frequency within creating cohesion no not all are in sync with this new language of balance within the more newly awakened and other star seeds and light bearers and the old world may be in their cycle of flow that is contradicting to what you may be experiencing now for many who have been on the journey of service grid workers healers going through years and decades of upgrades and transformations this is your sacred rebirth know you are becoming prepared for upcoming events and energies where it will be vital to be constant in this new state of active divine feminine unconditional love and acceptance heart balance with the divine masculine for true intuition beyond duality from this place solutions and answers can be trusted as we embrace divine living in grace from shekinah rose dot com from divine sister of the light karen lithica rise and shine strive to be you an infinite being of light observe the ripples of light your light advancement the awakening of your light mission and spiritual growth beyond your expectations understand your soul level of development is expanding now as your parameters of light are opening to a new level of consciousness the challenge now is to rise to a higher level of cosmic attunement to awaken to the cosmic global community a very exciting time of global observation and wonderment for we see the global changes occurring an energetic marathon for billions of beings simply realize the wonderment of now the global light awakening is here sending waves of cosmic love the arcturians and karen lithica from karenlithica dot com and from divine sistar of the light amanda lawrence way showers portal update humanity's collective potential embodiment stage now the portal that opened on the twenty second of june stays open for each to walk through when ready each walk through as per their unique timeline pre-designed already it's already done take your own time there's just more experience and more remembering that needs to occur for many until they walk through the portal went through as a further soul embodiment stage there are many stages to the soul's actual conscious embodiment this particular portal disconnects our predominant consciousness from the wounded human child itself that was carried into humans adulthood i need to explain that the soul is not attached to the physical life not attached to the child the human adult the adult's experiences are this physical world it's a soul it vibrates and exists at a higher hertz frequency plane in and around you it is not a human being through the portal there is total absence of the human child yet the presence of the divine childlike innocence of consciousness the human child carried the distortions of pain that were taken forward into their human adult human child pain patterns are human adult reactions and behaviors and the human adult every time pain is experienced as the adult yet unique to each one's own life experience portal parallel there's a simultaneous parallel this disconnect via consciousness to the human child allows the individual soul's ever-present connection to divine love to be ever-present within the present conscious experience 
felt vibrationally within the physical body and known within the human body's mind operating system. The disconnect to the human child is not something you can try to do with the human mind. It just happens to you by your own consciousness when ready, by your pre-designed soul's plan. There's no rush to this, no try or pushing oneself, only the reverse, the letting go, surrendering, acceptance, and desire to be honest with yourself and above all, choosing love frequency again and again. Flow in the present moment where the perfection of yours and the collective's designs reside and unfold in waking awareness, thereby receiving your own revelations that expand you. The way to expand soul consciousness is for the human to turn inward first, ever inward, always inward, all outer including people as your own manifested reality to see through back to you, to allow the soul out, allow it to become you. Yet then there is no you, there is soul and a physical body and a physical mind relay system that receives data directly from the soul connected to the infinite. One love, Amanda Lawrence. From Divine Sister of the Light, Elizabeth Peru. The final super full moon of 2021, and so it begins, the enduring cosmic influence that you've been building towards all month. Beautiful ones, over the next 24 hours, a deep acceptance of your recent decisions can emerge as personal transformation accelerates. From ElizabethPeru.com From Divine Sister of the Light, Asara Adams, latest energy update from Adama of Telos. Greetings, beloved ones. We are most joyous to connect with you here today, and we are sending you our utmost love from the heart of Telos. You came from the light, and you are a child of the light. You are loved and protected by the light and love of Source God, the great central sun. At this time, you are integrating vast amounts of this light in your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies. As you are letting go more and more of the darkness, you are making more and more space for the light. Here in Telos, we are working with many crystals that refract and amplify the light of the Great Central Sun. As we are working with this light from the Great Central Sun through the Great Crystal in Telos, we are distributing this light throughout the planet to raise the vibrational frequencies. You too can work with crystals to let the light of the Great Central Sun come through the physical sun into your being. Here is a process for it. Take a crystal that is of a clear nature, such as clear quartz crystal, and let the sun's rays shine through it. Sit with this light and bathe in it. Breathe it into every cell of your body. Connect upwards to your I am presence. Then connect upwards to your physical sun. Then connect upwards to the great central sun. Feel the energies flowing down from the great central sun through the physical sun, through your I am presence into your body, heart, and aura. Let this light raise your vibrational frequencies. Let this light expand from your heart center into your world. When you feel complete, return your awareness to the space that you're in. Welcome back. We champion your victory in the light. Welcome home. We send you all so much love. You are carried on the wings of angels to bring forth the new earth. Know in your heart that you are always surrounded by your angels, ascended masters, guides, galactic families of light, and yes, also by your family and friends in Telos, and always will be. Dear ones, we are walking with you on this journey, and you are loved beyond measure, always. I am your brother, Adama, of Telos. Thank you, Adama. And from Cobra and the Earth Alliance, Planetary Situation Update. Clearing of the Chimera group continues. The war between light and dark forces for Chimera Underground bases is at its peak and the decisive battles ending in light forces liberating the bases are expected to occur soon. The Chimera underground complex which extends below the central part of eastern Congo and below most of Rwanda and Burundi has not been liberated yet and hostages captured there and in other bases still need our assistance with meditation. Galactic Confederation Fleet, especially Ashtar Command, Pleiadian and Syrian Fleet, are moving closer to the surface of the planet and Jolnir. Quantum cannon weapons are now deployed in near-Earth orbit 
an icosahedral formation to continue clearing quantum anomaly and all dark force exotic weapons in all surface and subsurface layers of the planet, physical and non-physical. Joel Nair is particularly targeting etheric scalar weapons grid which was created by the Orion Dark Forces during the invasion of 1996. Scalar waves are produced when two opposing waves of the same frequency exactly cancel out each other. They can be misused to create strong etheric fields that can capture souls after they leave their physical body through the death process. And this captures exactly what happens to most humans on the surface and most hostages in underground bases. Also, scalar fields can be misused to attack lightworkers and to induce emotional pain, energetic discomfort, and also physical pain by triggering central nervous system. As light forces progress toward the surface, the dark are attacking key light workers with those scalar weapons, falsely hoping that this will slow the progress of the Galactic Confederation fleet. The main thing slowing the progress of the Confederation fleet is a soul called subquantum anomaly. Subquantum anomaly is the part of the quantum anomaly which extends throughout the whole universe on scales smaller than Planck length, 10 e to 35 meters and cannot be detected by any means according to the so-called trans planckian censorship conjecture this practically means that the light forces cannot detect it even in their ascended state they can only guess its effects after it begins to influence objects larger than planck length so basically all particles and waveforms in our universe the Orion Dark Force scientists have learned through experiments spanning many millennia and sometimes even millions of years how to trigger subquantum anomaly to produce anomalous effects in our universe. Throughout the universe, this can only produce a very thin quantum fog, whereas close to the surface of this planet, it triggers serious quantum anomaly which significantly hinders the progress of the Confederation fleet and also significantly decreases the efficiency of the light forces in general. They are now fully addressing this problem and there are already signs of progress. The most dangerous phase of the Planetary Liberation War lasted from December 2017 to May 2021, and things are finally beginning to look a bit better now, although the danger is far from over. As a positive sign on the surface of the planet, the Syrian goddess Vortex shows signs of healing. Drastic military escalation in Israel and Gaza was prevented with the help of Egyptian positive factions with the help of our meditation and other factors. There are some signs of escalation again and if they persist you may continue with the meditation if you feel so guided. Mainstream media are finally beginning to talk about the laboratory origins of COVID which was created in cooperation between China and the USA. It was created as a trigger defense mechanism against the progress of the light forces in planetary liberation, and dark forces are threatening to release more viruses if light forces continue to progress. Anthony Fauci, who I call Falsy, Bill Gates, and other bad actors are being exposed for their role in the creation of the scamdemic and will answer for their crimes against humanity. Fauci threatening people wishing to expose him will not stop the exposure. Connections between Bill Gates, Jeffrey Epstein, and Ghislaine Maxwell are being explored. It is interesting to note that Robert Maxwell, Ghislaine's father, was involved in the Promise, P-R-O-M-I-S, scandal, which including putting back doors in all Windows-based computers on the planet, feeding data to Israeli intelligence agencies. Promise software is now outdated and has been evolved further, live-streaming data about the surface population. This data is being processed by the Israeli intelligence agency called Unit 8200 at Urim Base, U-R-I-M, and by NSA. Both Urim Base and Utah Data Center have been hacked by the resistance on June 8th, and that led to internet outages worldwide and to some speculations, chimera-controlled DARPA, and other agencies still keep developing nanotechnology biochips and protein-based bioweapons for mind control and microbiochips. The spread of many rumors and disinfo on various internet sites has reached such proportions that some of those items need to be addressed. First, Ashtar is a being of light. There is no negative Ashtar command and they are not involved in any kind of betrayal whatsoever. 
Second, med beds will not be introduced to the surface population before the event, and they are not related to tachyon chambers whatsoever. Third, the only true tachyon chambers are listed on tachyonis, T-A-C-H-Y-O-N-I-S dot O-R-G website, and many other people are claiming to build tachyon chambers, or even handing out plans for those chambers are not telling the truth. On the surface of this planet, a functional tachyon chamber needs a quantum uplink to an orbiting satellite or a space station. There is a certain project involving tachyon chambers, and these owners of the tachyon chambers who wish to participate can contact cobra resistance at gmail.com they need to be aware that in order to participate in the project their chamber will not be available for regular healing sessions for at least a few months participation in this project is completely voluntary for a brief disclaimer i'm not involved in any activities whatsoever of a person named manuela tayara nor is she receiving any instructions from me. Fifth, Sisterhood of the Rose groups still need to be formed worldwide to anchor as much goddess energy as possible. And most importantly, the light forces have communicated that energies of wars that were fought on the surface of the planet through millennia finally need to be healed and souls still trapped in the war trauma released. For this reason, Sintamani, C-I-N-T-A-M-A-N-I, stones, need to be planted in the positions of all main past battlefields. Light forces have also communicated that the timeline of the Thirty Years' War, 1618 through 1648, which was in Europe, mostly Europe, needs to be healed, and Sintamani stones need to be placed into the key areas and battlefields of this war, as this was one of the most brutal conflicts in human history. With this timeline node resolved, a lot of healing energy will be released on the surface of the planet. Victory of the Light, 2012portal.blogspot.com Now I want to speak briefly about some information in this transmission that may seem contradictory to other light workers putting out information. For one, I know it's being released through many channels that the med beds are being released to the surface right now, that there's 50 in circulation. Now, many people are calling different technologies med beds. The med beds that the Earth Alliance and Cobra are speaking of are the advanced, the highly advanced Pleiadian med beds that can rebuild limbs, heal trauma, both physical, mental, emotional, the med beds being released are not the same med beds. Many people are calling many different technologies med beds, such as the Keshi Foundation, our Iranian bro star of the light. They are powerful healing beds, but not the same technology, not as advanced. And the med beds being released to the public, or what people are calling med beds, are a much more simple version of these highly advanced medical beds, which I hope that clears up some confusion in this seemingly contradictory release. And the tachyon chambers and the more advanced med beds are what we plan on utilizing in our first wellness centers, healing retreat centers. And here's the thing. I can build a tachyon chamber, but the equipment alone costs around $25,000, and the med beds are way more expensive than that. So until we can raise the funds for this and get investors, our team is coming up with ways to potentially raise funds for these projects. So we'll keep you up to date as the information comes in. We're working with several groups and we're putting a team together that are working with cryptocurrency technologies, not Bitcoin, many other versions and other blockchain technologies so we'll keep you up to date on that we may create an investment group many things are happening behind the scenes so keep just shining your light supporting us in any way possible and sharing this information with as many people possible because with the power of our mighty i am presence we are going to manifest these healing centers and we're going to attract the right people that will fund these projects and I know for a fact several of these beings are listening right now, waiting for the right moment to reach out. And I always tell people the right moment is now. So every day I'm showing up, transmitting this information, this gnosis, this knowledge, to potentially reach our team of 144,000. But of course, the nefarious beings that do not want this information out there are blocking us in every way. But 
is because of you and your support and our team on Patreon that we're able to continue this work and keep growing and building towards our empire of love. Day by day in every way, I am getting better and better. And now from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, servant of Yahweh, breakthroughs are happening today with final endings. No longer are you trapped and corded in karmic relationships. The mental overload and exhaustion that kept you in loops, frustrations and illness is ending. No longer will you put your life on hold waiting on anyone else. You have freed your heart and mind. Congratulations and well done, beloveds. You are passing through this portal with victory. Purification is happening, opening you up to a new day. This freedom is also happening for the Divine Masculine Christ Collective. They have been stuck in stagnation through the Mercury retrograde, as their chakra system was being cleansed of attachments that were blocking their ascension into unity. They have been freed from karmic loops from Atlantean timelines. Sexual purification of their flesh, fluids, and chakra systems are healing and restoring them to enter Heros Galmos marriage. The Divine Feminine Christ is merging deeper in partnership with the Most High. Together you two are a powerful, sovereign team. Knowing the Divine has your back, confidence is building, expanding the awareness of how powerful of a creator you are. You realize that the top priority right now is protecting your womb and chakra system from giving this power away to others. You are learning how to be love, yet still protect the Holy Grail and set boundaries from outside influences that feel entitled to what's yours and God's. Holy Grail unions are ascending back into the original divine blueprint of oneness, love, family, and masculine-feminine partnership. This is a requiring to end codependency and narcissistic behaviors in the divine masculine and feminine Christ. We need to be very honest and logical with ourselves on where we still need improvement and healing. Observe and take action if needed. Self-correct any behaviors of these two templates through this time of transition. We are all leaving the old earth timeline of separation and interference that has been preventing kingdom marriages and your spouse. Let the old way go and be open to a new way of love and harmonious relationships that are beginning. In Jesus Christus name, Amen, from Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames, and from Divine Sister of the Light Lia, White Horse, Lua Astrology, Sun in Cancer, Trine Jupiter, Retrograde in Pisces, consider what you could accomplish if you believed in yourself. Close your eyes and imagine the very best version of you while loving who you are in this moment. You are here for a reason. Be confident. The gods are on your side. Step back and embrace the big picture, especially if you've been feeling low. Maybe you aren't down on your luck at all. Your door will open. The wheel will turn. Expand your vision. Look at the bright side to boost your energy. Think of a sunflower seed, how tiny it is, and how tall it grows. Starting small doesn't mean you will stay small. Reach towards the light. Your beliefs govern your potential. You were born to shine. All is love, and love is all. From LeahWhitehorse.com and today from the Zolkin Times, Ken191, Blue Solar Monkey. Solar is the name for the number 9 and its keywords are intention, pulse, and realizing. A powerful number, I always say the ninth day of a wave spell is like the climax or the highest gear. It gives enormous power to whichever day it combines with. Today is Blue Monkey and it represents magic, illusion, and play. A solar monkey is one of the three most powerful monkeys out of the 13 monkey days in the Zolkin. Monkey is rocket-fueled and ready to go, ready to teach you a lesson if you deserve it, ready to show your magic if you are willing. If you want to join in and monkey around, you'll probably enjoy today more. From Divine Bro Star of the Light, Roger Grossman. Today is Blue Solar Monkey Day on the 13 Moon Dream Spell Mayan Calendar. Blue Monkey, Tribe 11 of the 20 Solar Tribe Archetype Cycle, plays Magic Illusion. Blue Monkey encourages you to see through life's illusions. Drop your serious veneer and become playful. Today is the day to get downright silly. If you need to be serious, then I recommend getting up to some serious monkey business. Remain lighthearted, have a good laugh, share a smile, play a game, tickle your fancy, bust a gut, pull my finger... Walk into a bar, knock repeatedly on a door, find out how many of your friends are 
needed to screw in a light bulb, figure out why you crossed the road, laugh till you cry, go bananas, remember to laugh at yourself while you're at it, get in touch with your playful inner child, be the smiling, light-hearted, laughing, silly, magical, prankster monkey, the cosmic actor, comedian, who works behind the scenes to help others to lighten up and crack a smile. Laughter is the best medicine. Solar Tone of Intention, Step 9 of the 13-step Creative Energy Cycle. Pulse, Realize, Intention. The number 9 is composed of three sets of three. Accordingly, there are three different ways intention can be interpreted. The first way is for you to put out your intentions through your thoughts and words. Writing your intentions down is a great way to solidify this process. Remember to use positive language and ask for what you want as opposed to what you don't. The world we live in is user-friendly. It is designed to give you exactly what you think and speak about. Negative language goes unrecognized in the manifestation process and only serves to help you manifest what you do not want. The second way you can work with your intentions is to go ahead and take action. When you put your intentions into motion, it announces to the universe what you are aiming for. Taking action is the final step needed to trigger and release the manifestations that will arrive during tomorrow's 10th creative energy tone. The third way to work with intentions is to go ahead and do the thing you intend intentionally, having attained a new extra solid foundation of integrity to set your upcoming manifestation upon during your yesterday's tone 8 you can now go ahead and very purposefully set forth your intentions about what you want to manifest intentional reflection order and endlessness and today from divine sister of the light christina papa giorgio blue solar monkey kin 191 23rd june 2021 realizing bliss 23 6 2021 20, equal 23 6 2 3 equal 23 6 23 equal 5 6 5 equal 5 11 equal 5 2 equal 7 23 royal star of the lion protection strength 5 liberation change transformation freedom 6 heaven christ harmony romance fertility 11 gate portal polarity 2 twins partner cooperation 7. Mystic, Magic, Spiritual, Initiation. Kin 191 equal 11 equal 2. Partnership, Cooperation, Polarity. A beautiful divine light code filled with much magic and joy today. Day 9 in the blue night wave spell of dreams, intuition, and abundance, where we are collectively dreaming the new world into reality. Today we are realizing the healing that magic and play brings to our lives, trusting in our intuition and allowing the power of accomplishment to pulse through us as part of the great dream. Tone of creation, solar, tone nine, operates in the spiritual realm, action, realizing power, pulse, essence, intention. The ninth day of this wave spell is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience. So we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization, visualizing what we want to manifest, and pulsing that intention from our heart. This assists us in making our dreams come true. This is potent manifestation energy today. What healing are you intending to accomplish and what dreams are you pulsing into reality? It is time to take responsibility for allowing new energy to birth in us continually by allowing ourselves to simply be present in the now moment that is where the magic happens. This new energy then becomes today's gift, enabling us to feel loved, nurtured, and supported in our bliss-filled, abundant lives. Our challenge is to actually birth our new creations and not get distracted by the illusions. Become like the child and play, play, play to keep your high vibe. Do not take this old Matrix game too seriously, but join with your allies and create a new game and play by your rules. Enjoy this joy-filled day and utilize the magical healing solar codes to realize our great dreaming. Bring it on, universe. Today's question is what healing intention am I pulsing for today in order to magically realize my dreams? Divine blessings for the joyful experience of abundant magic today. And la kek a la kin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. 
kin 191 blue solar monkey the mantra the code for today is i pulse in order to play realizing illusion i seal the process of magic with the solar tone of intention i am guided by the power of accomplishment and on this powerful day of manifestation and accomplishments let us know beloved beings of light in the comments below what you're experiencing what you're feeling your dreams your visions and your synchronicities and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates and as always we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com now i'd like to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission we rely on our monthly pledges on patreon and donations for our daily living expenses i would like to welcome and thank divine bro star of the light chris batterton for your pledge and support on patreon and if you're new to patreon or been with us a while we archived all our teachings our qigong practices healing arts and other meditations and trainings on our website primedisclosure.com on the menu at the top it'll say patreon teachings and transmissions there we archive all the extra teachings on there to make it easier for you to access if you'd like to support our work and mission and help us to continue to bring these transmissions to the world free daily you can make a monthly pledge at the link at white gold eagle or go to patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure now i'd like to thank divine sister of the light trinity stella for your donation today thank you very much we love you too we love you all if you'd like to make a one-time donation you may do so at the link at egolovecondor.com or we have a link to our paypal in the description below now i'd like to also thank everyone supporting my sacred condors art business on etsy i'd like to thank divine sister of the light sheila for your purchase today you can check out her beautiful handmade goddess totems she has the made to order zodiac goddess totems the zodiac goddess set of the 12 signs of the zodiac and the medicine wheel goddess totems and other works of art that you can check out at lunagoddessart.com now we're going to end today's transmission with more powerful codes from our pleiadian bro stars and sisters of the light pleiades one messages june 23rd 2021 p1 calling terrans for origins recognition attention for calls and pvse dash sde deep experiences keep happening freedoms are cited specific contentions continue as major fleet approaches wisdom rebirth expands zone t discussions cease astral concentration camps diminishing superior conductors increase regenerations continue appropriately rituals come in finalization transfers to calthart are approved first wave 99 percent non-regressive special projectors for mfd 11 plus 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 aimed and reverberant 99 percent non-regressive initiated unconscious liberations one-third specific layer greater than 99 percent non-regressive alert alert emissaries projectors and potential galactic sages arrive temporarily end of transmission pleiades one ashtar plus eleven from disclosure news dot it with that thank you for joining us today beloved beings of light have a beautiful and blessed super full moon tomorrow in capricorn the strawberry moon yes she just agreed from the outside into the inside so keep shining your light brightly into the night the goddess rises to meet the Holy Spirit in the center as one divine unity conscious being of eternal light. Keep holding and towing the line as we bring and uplift the all true conscious beings of light in the clarity and pure bliss of heaven on earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart. And be sure to make it the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.